Are you ready to start storing food? Don't really know where to start. Don't know what to store. I've got 16 cheap, easy, readily available foods that you can store right now that are going to last a really long time. They're easy to get. Uh, it's going to take, it's stuff that I store personally myself. I've got loads of all of these in here. It's not just something that I came up on the internet and was like, oh, this looks good. Uh, I actually store these foods and keep them in stock and rotate through those. Stick with me and we'll give you the 16 top foods that I store personally for my prepper stockpile. Let's get into this. Number one, probably one of the biggest staples that I store is wheat berries. Uh, wheat berries have a lot of different things that you can do with them. You can grind them into flour to make bread. You can sprout those and eat the sprouts, which will give you a lot of nutrition with that. Properly stored in Mylar, last 25 to 30 years. Uh, one of the great places, and you can get a lot of this from the uh, LDS uh, cannery online or uh, at their stores. They've got different locations. I think it's lds.org is the website, but you can buy a bunch of these on there. But the first one that I store is wheat. You can grind it into flour, make bread. You can actually sprout the wheat berries and eat those. Number two item on my list is uh, dried beans. Uh, get a variety of beans. Don't just buy all black beans or just don't buy all pinto beans or white beans. Buy a variety of beans. I think I've got four different, four or five different types of beans, dried beans that I store. Uh, the beans will last stored in Mylar 25 plus years. Also, uh, LDS canner, you can order those online or get them in the store. Number three item that I've got on my list that I store personally is white rice. White rice is going to store 25 plus years in Mylar. You can also get that at the LDS cannery. Uh, don't store, if you're going to store rice, store white rice because the brown rice will, has oils on it that will go rancid a lot faster. And it's usually only good, I think, a year to two years for storage. So your rice storage stick with white rice. Number four on the list are canned meats. I store a lot of Keystone canned meats. Uh, Keystone has uh, shredded beef, they've got ground beef, they've got chicken, and they've got pork. I, I've got all four of those. Those are amazing things. Also with your canned meats, you've got chickens, tuna, salmon, stuff like that, uh, anchovies, some people do that. I think those are gross, so I don't store those. But with the Keystone meats, they give a five-year shelf life, but I've, I've seen it where it goes 10 years. Uh, so I've got stuff that's in rotation that I've eaten past the five-year date, and it's been fine. But you're looking on the canned meats, especially the Keystones, somewhere around 10-year shelf life on it. It's probably still good past that, but I don't have anything personally that's went past the 10 years. Number five on our list, pasta. I've got several different types of pasta. Uh, with all these staples, you can make different dishes. Uh, pasta, I've got spaghetti noodles, I've got angel hair noodles, I've got uh, fettuccine noodles, I've got the little short pasta pieces and the little elbow macaroni. The elbow macaroni stores super well because it doesn't have any sharp points on it that will poke into your Mylar bags and stuff like that. Pasta, you're looking 20 to 25 year shelf life is sealed in Mylar with O2 absorbers. The LDS cannery does have, they call it uh, elbow macaroni, I think is what they call it. And they actually have uh, spaghetti bites too that you can buy online. Number six on my list is powdered milk, non-fat uh, powdered milk. Powdered milk is something, uh, it's hard to store milk. A lot of people can milk. I've never done that. Uh, it doesn't really appeal to me. So we store a lot of powdered milk. Powdered milk, you're looking at about a 20-year shelf life on it when stored in Mylar properly. Uh, then also you throw in uh, some sugar with the powdered milk and some cocoa. You've got chocolate milk for the kids or for you. I like chocolate milk, so that's just something that you could do with your powdered milk. Also using it for other dishes too. Number seven on the list is uh, salt. You want to store a fair amount of salt. Your body needs the salt. Uh, also, salt makes everything taste better. So uh, We store a ton of salt, uh, all different types of salt. Uh, we store just regular iodized salt. We store uh, pickling salt. We store uh, the Himalayan sea salt and the Celtic uh, salt. All those are used for different things. The only salt that I don't store is any of your... Uh, uh, 
your pink salt as far as your curing salts. I just don't use those when we're making bacon and stuff like that. I never have. Not a big fan of the nitrites and nitrates that are in those. But salt, salt is going to last forever. It's one of those things that never expires. When you're storing it, just make sure when you put it in your Mylar bags, you don't put an O2 absorber or a desiccant pack in it because it will turn it into a brick. Number eight on the list following up uh, salt is sugar. Sugar is another one of those things that goes back to talking like with the powdered milk. If you've got powdered milk, some sugar and some cocoa, you've got chocolate milk and you're happy as can be drinking your chocolate milk in the end of the world. But uh, sugar, we store a whole lot of sugar, just plain old uh, table sugar. Table sugar is never going to go bad. It's with the same thing. Uh, when you store it in your Mylar bags, don't put an oxygen absorber or a desiccant pack in it because it will turn it into a brick and you're going to have to uh, break off pieces of sugar when you want to use it. Number nine on my list of what I store is dried corn. We're talking about just dent corn, uh, regular field corn. There's so much stuff you can do with field corn. Uh, you can take it, grind it up into corn flour to make your corn or corn meal is instead of corn flour, but your corn meal, you can make cornbread, hoe cakes, uh, use it to make corn tortillas, uh, grind it the right way and make it into grits. Uh, there's a ton of different stuff that you can do with the corn. Also, if you have to, you can crack the corn and feed it to your animals. Uh, corn's gonna store a really long time, especially in Mylar bags, 25 years, somewhere, somewhere around in there. So it's another thing that I actually store here at my house. Number 10 on my list are rolled oats or quick oats. Uh, I like oatmeal, I enjoy oatmeal, especially oatmeal with a little bit of milk in it and some sugar. I mean, that is some good stuff, but we, uh, we store a lot of rolled oats. Rolled oats store great. You're looking at about a 25 year shelf life on those when stored in Mylar bags with your O2 absorbers. Uh, LDS actually has those uh, where you can order uh, number 10 cans of your rolled oats. So we store a lot of rolled oats. Number 11 on my list are potato flakes or instant potatoes. Uh, you can store potato flakes. Uh, it, you're looking like the Land O'Lakes. Yeah, I think it's the Land O'Lakes. Like the instant mashed potatoes is kind of what I'm talking about. You can make those. There's tons of different things you can do. Uh, mashed potatoes are a comfort food around my house. I love mashed potatoes. Try not to eat them as much. I try to cut as many carbs out as I can, but sometimes it does not work. But uh, you can take the mashed potatoes uh, and make, you can take the, the potato flakes, turn those into mashed potatoes, and you've got something better to eat, throw a little bit of butter on them, uh, put them with some uh, canned meats, and you're good to go, and that's an almost instant ready meal there. Number 12 on my list is actual real raw honey. Uh, real raw honey is going to last forever. There's not a shelf life on it. They found honey that's thousands of years old. You hear everything, oh, it's in the Egyptian tombs and it's still good. I probably wouldn't eat the crap, but they say it was good. I'm gonna take their word for it. I don't want Egyptian 2000 year old honey. But beside the point, honey is never gonna go bad. Honey has a lot of medicinal uses also. You can put it on cuts and scrapes. Uh, it's gonna help heal those wounds. It's gonna help sweeten stuff. You can take uh, some of your rolled oats that you're storing, cook those up, throw some honey on it, and hey, you're having a great breakfast and a good time in the end of the world. All right, numbers 13 and 14 kind of go together. Canned vegetables and canned fruits that you already eat. Um, I eat a lot of green beans. I'm a green bean guy. I've got tons and tons of canned green beans, uh, home canned and Commercial can, commercial cans right now are easier for me to grab and stockpile as opposed to beans are not coming in yet in the garden and in the raised beds. So uh, I just go in just buy flats of uh, canned green beans. Uh, we buy a lot of canned potatoes, a lot of canned corn, uh, stuff like that. Can canned fruits also, uh, your little fruit cocktails and stuff like that. Canned peaches, uh, I like those. Store those, but actually store a variety of those. Don't just get all stinking uh, canned peaches. Get a variety of stuff. Those, those canned fruits and vegetables are going to last way beyond the Best Buy date. I know the other day I ate some canned green beans that were three, three years out of date. 
opened a can, heated them up, cooked them. They are perfectly fine. No repercussions with that. So don't just throw these things out when they say best buy date. Uh, you can go well beyond that. Number 15 on my list that I've got that I store personally are uh, herbs and spices. There's all kinds of different herbs and spices that you need to store up. Uh, it's just going to make all your food that much better. Think of how bland it's going to be if you're fixing beans and rice and you, you don't have any spices with it, anything like that. Uh, you can take with different spices and herbs, you can have everything from a Mexican meal to an Italian meal to uh, whatever you want. Uh, but the, the flavors are going to come out a lot better. It's going to get, it's going to be a boring time eating the same rice and beans and canned meat if you can't spice it up a little bit and change the flavor of everything. These spices will degrade over time. We keep a lot of our stuff in uh, the smaller Mylar bags sealed up with O2 absorbers. It helps them stay a lot longer. Number 16 on the list, what I've got is alcohol. Any kind of high proof alcohol is good to have around if you're using, I mean, they always say you can use, you know, a high proof vodka and stuff like that for cleaning out wounds and stuff like that. But alcohol is something great to have around. Uh, I don't drink personally too much, but I've got a ton of alcohol stored up for just different uses. It's stuff that people have given me for Christmas and stuff like that. I've got it. I'm like, it's not going to go bad. We just set it in a pantry and uh, maybe one of these days we'll use it for certain things. Also, if you're making tinctures, use a high proof vodka with it to make your uh, herbal tinctures. It's great for that. Some of, your some of your tinctures you need to make with vodka. Some of them you need to make with uh, oils and stuff like that. I'm not an expert on it. Uh, I will be getting more knowledge in that uh, pretty soon with Leslie. She's coming to teach an herbal class with us. And number 17 is kind of a bonus one, and it's actually a big one. It's one that I kind of left off the list, and I was like, I did not put this on here. But one of the biggest things is fats. Uh, you're going to need fats in a grid down situation. Uh, a lot of these things, a lot of the stuff that I've put on here does not have fats with it. Your canned meats are going to have a lot of fats in there. But I'm talking about animal fats uh, and stuff like that. You're looking at beef tallow. You're looking at pork lard. And uh, the three big ones are tallow, lard, and coconut oil. Coconut oil will last a very, very long time. Uh, your lard is going to last a super long time. It's shelf stable as long as you keep it in a cool, cool, dry place, cool, dark, dry place. Keep it there. Your beef tallow, the same thing. Your animal fats are the best fats that you're going to have. I know a lot of people store canola oil, vegetable oil, and stuff like that. Me personally, I don't like those oils. So I try to keep uh, beef tallow, lard, and coconut oil. They're better for you. Guys, this rounds out this stuff. If you got any comments, drop them in there. Also, uh, check out the website, KentuckySustainableLiving.com. We have got workshops coming up this summer in between festivals that you're going to want to attend, and I appreciate you.